only do this workout if you have healthy knees, hips and ankles. This is a high impact workout, we're gonna jump. We're starting with a warm up though. Start standing with your feet hip width apart and then step forward into a nice fallout lunge. The bigger you make the fallout, the more you're getting your thighs and your glutes warmed up and then push yourself back up into standing backwards. So fall out, fall down, don't hit your knee though. And then push right back into standing. You wanna bring the whole foot down when you're stepping forward. Heel first, and then putting the whole foot down on the ground. Arms come with the movement, twisting your shoulders, warming up the spine, starting to engage the core here. Start to breathe evenly. We need to pick up our heart rate, our body temperature, and get those joints moving. Here we go. Next one up, squat. This is a nice and easy, no lifting, no jumping yet. Just bending the knees and extending the hips. When you bend, push the hips back and down without lifting the toes. I see a lot of people squatting, lifting the toes and coming only onto their heels. Try to keep the whole foot down. This is much more balanced for the muscles in your legs because we need to have the contact with the ground with the whole foot so all muscles are engaged in our legs in the right way. Upper body is slightly leaning forward. Arms go forward when you bend. Go back when you extend. Forward when you bend and back when you extend. Very nice. Pull those shoulders back slightly, adding this little notch for the upper back. Very nice. Continuing here with the legs, stepping out laterally this time. Great workout for the adductors, that's the inner thighs. So we're stepping out, wide fall out to the side this time, big lunge. When you're stepping out, make sure your foot is pointing out, so knee and toes are pointing into the same direction. Now you can lean forward slightly, so you get a little bit of a bend and extension in your hip, warming up and continuing to warm up those glutes and the hamstrings. Make the movement as fluid as possible, so don't step out too wide and then just sit there on the ground, not able to lift yourself up again. Nice balance between fluidity and a little bit of challenge yourself. Now grab something soft because you're coming down onto the floor with your elbows. Pause the video if you need to, otherwise keep going. Sphinx position in plank pose, so the elbows are underneath the shoulder, forearms are parallel, palms flat on the floor. Now push yourself forward, plank saw is the word. So you're shifting forward and backwards, working from your ankles. So your hips are not picking up, they stay on the same line, but your heels are shifting backwards and forward. So you should feel this in your shoulders, especially when you're coming forward, because a lot of weight comes onto the shoulder girdle. And then pushing back is also engaged from the shoulders. So you're pushing those forearms forward. Very nice. Getting warmer. Here we go, walking frogs. No jumping yet, just trying to mobilize those ankles. So we are standing, folding forward, stepping backwards, coming back up. Where's the music? Coming soon. <laughs> and standing back up tall, forward fold, here we go. Step backwards, step forwards, and come back up. If you already feel like it or you're warmed up, great, you can of course step backwards, and jump forward or fold forward, jump back, jump forward and then stand back up as you wish. But you don't need to jump yet. There's tons of jumping coming up in this workout. So breathe evenly, enjoy it while you can. Mobilizing here, the ankles, the knees and the hips. Big hip movement. All right, now you need your mat. If you don't have one, grab it, but you should have it by now. So we're folding the knees, sitting as a very small package onto our hip, then rolling backwards, 
rolling forward and standing back up. Just rolling backward, rolling forward and standing back up. Now try to get as much momentum as you need to get back onto your feet. So this can either be with the legs or have a look at the arm movement here. So I, I put the arms overhead and then push myself away from the floor with the palms of my hands. So you need to pull those elbows up, bring the palms of the, head on, of the hand onto the floor so you get enough momentum to roll back forward. If you want to keep practicing, pause the video, otherwise we keep moving. Here we go. Stepping climber, start in plank position. And now we're simply stepping forward and stepping back. There's no getting up anymore, no standing. We're doing everything with the hands on the floor. Hands and feet are staying on the ground. Just stepping forward, contracting the abs, and then extending again. So the challenge is not to stay petite and close and small the whole time, but to get an extension in the plank and a contraction in the forward fold. Extension in the plank, contract, pull the navel, navel, pull the navel in. Extend, long line, pull the navel in, contract. Extend, navel in, contract. And the head is doing the same. Head extends, long line, and come back in with the head, chin to the chest. Very nice. And you can feel it. Things are building up. Switch lunges. Squatting and then lunging backwards. So we're going low with the hips and again low with the hips. The lower you stay and the less high you come back up, the more challenge for your thighs. So if you want to give yourself a bit more of a challenge, stay low, don't come into full extension and then step backwards from that half position, half squat. Keep a fluid pace. So we get a little bit of cardio, heart rate going, raising the body temperature, raising the heart rate, raising the rhythm of your breathing. So we get ready to jump. Squat one more time, lunge. Yes. So here we go, kneeling to squat. Beginner drill, so nice and easy. Get your mat, so you need a soft cushioning, then kneel and step up. Kneel again and step up. So that's one, two. We're marching up and we're marching down. Make sure to switch sides every now and then. So this is just marching. One, two and one, two. Arms engage, runner's arms. Makes it a bit easier for your core. Up, up and down, down, up, up down down be quick on the up and you can take your time on going down up up and lower down and again up up very good quickly up up here we go up up two more you can do it up up and down and the last one get up into the squat and down yes here we come to the plank ski steps so what you're gonna do Start in plank position and then step out to the right side and step out to the left side. The outer leg is leading. The outer leg comes first, inner leg comes second. Outer leg, inner leg, step back. Outer leg, inner leg, step back. Outer leg, right and step back. Shoulders stay above your wrists. You can bend the elbows some. So this is continuous core work. You're folding, you're crunching, you're extending, contracting the core, pulling the navel in. Get the head into the game. The head, neck stays in a long line with the spine. So when you're folding forward, you're bringing the chin to the chest. Wonderful. So now we're coming to the more advanced jumps. Here we have a jump forward backward and then stepping forward and getting back up. So here we have a getting back up where we're lifting the hands off the floor, staying in standing position. Get back into plank, jump forward, backward and come back up. Yes, step backwards, jump forward, jump back, come back up. Great, you're doing fantastic. Now make sure that your shoulders are staying above your wrists 
that you're planting the mount of the index finger into the ground. This is important for hip, for shoulder stability. Pull the navel in. Don't sag in the hips when jumping. Protect the lower back. You can do one more. Step back, jump forward, jump backward. Step forward, get up. You made it. All right, intermediate version for the rollbacks. We are progressing to the jump. So fold in the knees, roll back, push yourself against the floor and then come onto the feet and jump up. Here we go, roll back, push against the floor, roll forward on the feet, jump and again, roll back, push back on the feet, jump again, roll back on the hands, push back on the feet, jump. The jump is not the most difficult thing because you got a lot of momentum. So dare to jump. Hands are fine, just, just pulling behind your back. Just do what feels great. Once you got it, this is such a fun movement. Just be sure that you're pushing against the floor with the hands. You get more chance on doing the advanced version later. But first of all, jumping climber. This is advanced, this is super hardcore cardio. We're staying on the ground with the hands and jumping forward and backwards. Here we go, jump forward, back, forward, back. So this is switching between a forward fold and a plank. So get the extension in your body. Shoot the legs back, shoot the legs back, shoot the legs back, and then come forward. Knees to the chest, knees to the chest. Knees and shoot, knees and shoot, knees and shoot. Very good, you got this. Now contract your core at all times. Don't sag in the hips. So you protect your lower back. This is very important. Now make sure your head is working with your spine. You can do a few more, you got this. We have a little breather. And here's a breather. Switch lunges, 10 seconds to get ready. We're staying very low and start in lunge position, switch, switch, switch the legs. You don't want to jump too high. You want to stay on the same height with your hips and your shoulders. You imagine you're having kind of a ceiling above your head that you don't want to touch. Very low ceiling and you're just staying underneath. Arms are moving with the legs. The same intensity of work as the legs are doing. So we're having a stop, 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 like an accent here. Now try to get lower without hitting your kneecap. So get low, get low, get low. You're doing great. Amazing, two more. Well done. The intermediate version of the kneeling to squat. Now try this one. You're lifting off the floor and landing in your jump in your low squat and then marching back onto the floor. Lifting, jumping into the low squat and then getting back onto the floor. It's actually better to do these barefoot because you've got much more control against the floor. But with feet, with shoes is fine. Now again, press against the floor, lifting the arms. The arm movement gives you momentum and some fly so you can bring the feet forward and underneath your body. Bring the feet forward underneath your body. That's your intention. Feet come forward underneath your body. Again, feet come forward. Press against the floor. Wonderful, last time, you got this. Press against the floor. Yes, here we go. Another round for the core, plank ski hops. This time we're not marching, we're hopping. Start in plank position and then jump both feet to the right, jump both feet to the left. And every time we're jumping back, back into plank position. So we're switching between left and right. The intention is to go to the side of your hands. Right side, left side. If you can't do this, just stay in the middle somehow, don't jump as far, but try to do the left and the right so that we get these oblique muscles, those rotator muscles to work. Here we go. Keep the shoulders above your wrists. One more. Brave.
Okay, here we go for a breather because, because we have one last round to do. Get into your widest squat. Bring those hips down onto knee height and twist it and breathe. Energy is staying up because there's still some more to go. Twist the shoulder in, look over your shoulder and come back. Exhale, twist one shoulder in, look over your shoulder and come back. Inhale, exhale, rotate. Inhale, come back to the front. Enjoy this one while it lasts. Arch the lower back slightly so you can twist better. Elongate your spine, pushing your sitting bones backwards. And one more big exhale. And deep inhale. Here we go. Now we get to the advanced drills. So this is the frog jump with an added frog jump in the air. Start standing, plant the hands, jump, frog jump, come forward. So everything is jumping now. We're jumping back, we're frog jumping, we're jumping forward, we're standing back up. Hands planted, frog jump, come back forward and stand. Everything is jumping. Now if you get confused, we jump from the plank into that horse kick, if you might call it that way. Horse kick from the plank and then jumping back forward into forward fold. Horse kick in the plank, jumping back forward. So all we need to do is to get somehow in that plank so we can do our horse kick. This one is amazing. Make sure you have your core contracted, shoulders away from the ears, shoulder blades contracting. Yay. And there's an advanced one of this one too. So rolling back, stopping, pushing against the floor, getting up and tuck jump. Do as many as possible for 45 seconds. This is how we jump. Roll back, push, roll forward, push against the floor, tuck jump. Again, push back, push forward, push against the floor, tuck. Very nice. If you want to, you can clap your hands onto your thighs. This adds some extra thrill here. Very good. Jump, tuck and get back onto the floor. Remember to press with the palms of your hand against the floor behind you. I don't want you to roll too much on your head. So get forward as quickly as possible and tuck jump. You get two more in. Come on, you get two more in. Tuck jump, get back down. One more. Tuck jump. Yay. All right, jumping climber. That one is intense. We need shoulders here. Start in plank, jump forward, jump backwards, jump forward, jump backwards. Here we have a great core and cardio workout. We're doing this for 45 seconds. Try to do the same quality of movement from the beginning to the end. I want you to be soft in your ankles, rebounding as quickly as possible. The heels do not touch the floor. Now for the hands, remember to plant the mount of your index finger on the ground. Stay on top of your wrists with your shoulders. Shoulders stay on top of your hands. Wonderful. If you can do this, you can jump into handstands. You can jump into anything. Great. So it's lunges. One more time. One more go. Stay as low as you can this time. And now get the speed up. Start in lunge and then switch and switch and switch and switch. Now you can get faster, 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 faster. Music is coming back, don't you worry. So we're switching, 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 switching. And the arms are doing the same thing. Now if you can, start to get faster. Beat is getting faster, so you can get faster too. Challenge your cardio. Challenge how fast you can go with those legs and with those arms. You can do it. You get 10 more seconds to prove what you can do. With this workout, you get to know yourself. So may I present yourself and you meeting. Here we go. Two more. Now we have an advanced version of these kneeling to tuck jumps as well. So do whatever you can. If you just want to get those feet under yourself, that's fine. Just land in those low squats. But if you can, and if you still can do it, come up, tuck jump, back on the floor, kneeling, come up, tuck jump, 
Hands on the floor to get back onto the ground. And then come up, tuck jump. So the most important bit is get these feet under your body. The tuck jump, you do, if you can tuck jump, you can do it from any position. But here you need to get those feet quickly under your body. Keep going. Tuck jump. Here we go. Clapping your thighs if you want to. You can do one more. Come on, tuck jump. Yes. And back onto the ground. Last one up. Ski hops. We've been doing it stepping. We've been doing it hopping. But now we're doing the finale. Hopping as far forward and to the side as we can. So you will feel this in your oblique muscles, in your diagonal core muscles. And you might feel it tomorrow as well. In your shoulders, in your legs, in your glutes. Very likely. But that's what you're coming for. So hey, get this little ski hopper going and jump back into that extension plank as good as you can. Stay light on your feet. Flexible in your ankles. Bounce back from your knees. Stay controlled and strong in your shoulders. And you made it. Hey, stretching the thigh. So we're starting balancing on the left foot and then grab your, ref, your right foot, either with one hand or with both. Now bring those knees next to each other. Knees are touching, hips are pressing forward, contracting the glutes slightly. Now lifting your chest, make this a little bit of a chest opener as well because we're having the hand behind our back. This is great for chest opening. Then lift the gaze. Keep the chin up. And maybe press the hips forward a little bit more. Closing the knees. Very good. And then slowly relax, let the leg go. Change side. Balance on your right foot. And then grab your left foot with one hand or both. And if you're stable, start to bring those knees next to each other so the thighs are really parallel on the same height, on the same line. And if this is already enough of a stretch, just stay here. But observe if your hip is extended. If not, you wanna press your hip forward, contracting your glutes slightly. Make sure you're lifting your chest. Shoulder blades are sliding down your back, creating a really nice long leg, lifting the chest, lifting the chin, lifting your gaze, opening. Great. Stretching can be amazing. We're getting a little bit dynamic again, so we get the heart rate pumping blood. Come into your wide squat, hands on the inside of your knees. And then rotate one shoulder into the center, looking over the outer shoulder, twisting the whole spine all the way up into your head. You want to breathe slowly in when you come to the middle, exhale when you're twisting, inhale when you come to the middle, exhale when you're twisting. And you want to be lifting your sitting bones slightly, so slight arch in the lower back to free the spine and to make it easier to twist. Very good. You should already be ready to jump again. Well, maybe not. We're gonna do some side lunges, stretching the adductors. Start in a very wide stance and then shift the weight onto the right, shifting the weight onto the left. Only go as long as you need as to feel a little bit of a stretch on the inside of your thigh, the adductors. And you can put the hands folded onto the thigh that's bearing the weight. So we free up the leg that's stretching from too much weight. Very good. Stay upright with the upper body, lift the chest, relax the shoulders. This is really just a slight stretching out of the legs. 
very good. Keep breathing. And because we've been doing so much jumping, we absolutely have to stretch the calves. So press the right heel back, left foot is forward, and now extend forward as much as possible into a high lunge, but pressing the back heel down. If you don't feel a stretch in the calf, you can bend the front leg further as much as you need so you feel a stretch. Make sure that your back leg, your knee is straight and not bent. And then just play with the bending and extending of the forward leg so the stretch can be a little bit dynamic here. Very good. Then stand back up and switch sides. Now pushing the left leg back, right leg is forward. And since we've already been doing the other side, you know the distance between the feet that you need to feel the stretch. So check both sides if they're equal or not. Usually they are, more or less. <laughs> If you need more of a stretch though, come a bit more forward, lean over the front leg with the upper body, really pushing the back heel into the floor. Make sure the leg extended, the knee is straight, and your whole body is in a nice long line. And relax all the rest of your body. This is very good. I hope you enjoyed this workout. I certainly did. We get to know each other every time we walk out and we're getting a little stronger, a little taller and a little wiser. So hope to see you soon doing more stressful workouts with me here on my channel. See you soon. Bye.